that time lapse video though. I know you liked it. I know you haven't heard from me in a while. Why? Why haven't you heard from me in a while? You haven't heard from me in a while because I've been doing good things. I've been doing good work and something I always talk to you guys about is that I'm trying to get fit. I got me a personal trainer and I've literally been sore every single day. Like every day, sore every day. So for me, I just felt like it would be a much needed break away from YouTube while I'm trying to get my body together because I'm using muscles, doing exercises that I've never used or done before. And I'm just now feeling like I can get back at this again. I'm just now feeling like I am um, at the mental and physical strength where I can work out daily, do the level of workouts that I'm doing, and still give you guys the amount of time and level of production that you're looking for. Um, I did purchase an action cam. An action cam is right there. And it's doing the time lapse shot of Baltimore. Everything behind me right now. I'm really not sure how it's going to come out. But it is a time lapse shot of downtown Baltimore. And I, I think it's going to be pretty sweet. Um, the other reason why I decided to come out of hiding, I guess is what you want to call it. I'm not really hiding, but I guess the other thing that I should talk to you about is this whole YouTube purge thing, right? I lost damn near half my subscribers to this YouTube subscriber purge thing. I don't know what this is about. I'm seeing it everywhere. I'm watching videos about it. A lot of YouTubers are talking about it and I'm not jumping on the bandwagon at all, but I gotta say something. And it's funny because usually when I reach milestones, y'all know me, when I reach milestones, I say something. I go, all right, this is what I'm gonna do and I do something or I thank you guys. For some odd reason, when I hit a thousand subscribers, I fully intended to do something. I fully intended to do some kind of challenge, to do some kind of video, to do something. But it was something in my heart that told me, not right now, not right now. And there's a reason for everything. And the not right now, honestly, the not right now was this. The not right now was this, this whole purge thing. You know, because now I'm at 850 subscribers where before I was at about, I think, 1,400 subscribers. So I lost damn near half my subscribers. Now, if you go to Social Blade, Social Blade is telling you, or if Social Blade released something stating that um, it was a purge and that they were getting rid of um, inactive subscribers, right? However, moments later, YouTube, it's... Uh, it's more or less like their, um, I don't know if it's like their IT department or their whatever you want to call it, but YouTube actually put out a statement stating that they were aware of the issue and they're not sure what it is and they will be attending to it or trying to fix it. So why is this so important? Why is this so important? This is important because as creators, we do a lot of work. As creators, we put in a lot of time to give you guys free content, you know, and watching your subscribership go up every day makes it worth it. Watching it go up is like telling you what you're doing is right. It's telling you you're on to something and it, it, it kind of gives you the motivation to keep going. So when people subscribe, it's a big thank you as to your content. It's a big thank you saying, you know, I really appreciate you, what you I really appreciate what you're doing. I want you to keep doing it. I'm gonna keep watching, stay consistent. When you lose half your subscribers, let me tell you, it makes you not feel motivated for a moment. But if you know me, I motivate myself.
but it is disappointing. I was happy to break thousand subscribers and to, to see me grow. And I was pretty much a month away from possibly getting 2000 subscribers and it felt great. It felt good. If it was a glitch, I'll be happy to see everyone come back. Um, but I feel, I almost feel like I'm starting from scratch. That's how it really feels, even though it's not because I didn't lose everyone. I just lost half and that's all right because that just means I have to be more creative. That just means I have to think on my feet and do better and give you guys better. And it's why I'm investing in myself. Now, I've been going back and forth with D-Rock S2 and Action Cam because during my break, I've had a lot of time to think about where I want this channel to go. And what I set out to do in the first place and what that was, was fitness, bettering myself, bettering you. The fitness aspect of it isn't there. So I wanted to get an action cam so that I can strap it on wherever I am, where I'm working out, and show you videos of me actually working out and what I'm doing. I want to get back into the struggle of it all. I want to get back into what my diet looks like. Like right now I'm cutting. What does that mean? I'm also in the process of building... A nice little space in my house for YouTube in my room you know but it's gonna be like a small studio in my room in the corner I'm rearranging some stuff so I can get that and in that corner that studio that's where I'm gonna be able to spend more time describing my day and describing what I'm doing with these workouts and I'm thinking of an overall method as to how I want to portray this to you because at the same time I'm a very artistic person internally and I want to give you that level of um, of commitment and artistic vision so going back and forth with D-Rock um, we talked about various action cams and I decided to go with the GoPro it just had a lot, of, lot to offer it shot in 4k um, GoPro cameras can't zoom you can only zoom in post edit so if I'm shooting in 4K and I zoom in, I can still get good quality video, right? So one thing I want to do is showcase Baltimore to you. So I'm going to use this action cam too to give you guys some nice shots of Baltimore so you can see how beautiful this place really is. Um, the artistic vision is still flowing within me, but I'm going to give you something along the lines of what I started to do. You're going to get music. You're going to um, get some kind of intro. I'm trying to figure out how I want to intro. Um, if you have any, you know, constructive criticism, let me know. <laughs> I'm always open to constructive criticism. Now, my video quality, I want to get a lot better. Um, so I'm going to be shooting at higher resolutions and frame rates and bit rates. Um, right now, unfortunately, I'm shooting with my cell phone because I didn't even realize I was going to shoot this video. I didn't even realize I was going to get the GoPro today and, and do these time lapses. I had no idea that I was even going to do anything like that. But here I am. Here I am. So you're going to get cell phone quality today. And I hope you're okay with that. To the 854 subscribers that I have out there, thank you. Thank you for your faith in me. Thank you for continuously watching. Thank you for when I take these little mini breaks and I get back up. Um, I didn't intend to do a break this time. However, um, my body needed the break because of the pressure I was putting upon it. So I hope you appreciate where I'm going, what I'm doing, and when I reach the end of my fitness goals, I want you guys to be right there with me. Now, if this is the first time you are seeing my video, hit the like button. See what I'm made of. Go back and watch a couple of my videos, because I do drop some gems. But, in a humbling way, I ask you to follow my life, 
see what I have to offer your life. And if you're an average Joe just like me trying to get fit, trying to become better, trying to do better, let's influence each other. Iron sharpens iron. Diamonds sharpen diamonds, right? So alphas, I'm going to sit here for a moment while my GoPro camera finishes this time lapse. I'm not sure how long I'm going to sit here for, but I know I began when there was some blue out in the sky and now it's dark. I just wanted you guys to be able to see the inner harbor and how beautiful it is, how beautiful it can be. And I'm going to get various shots of it over time and various shots of Baltimore over time and show it to you. But look, I don't want to make this video too long because it's already 10 minutes. But you guys know that I love y'all. And regardless of this purge, I'm going to keep going. So I want you guys to live life because life demands results. So what do your results say about you? Peace.